In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called preparing a strong base solution with a given pH. In this problem, you're going to be given three crucial pieces of information. First of all, you will be given um, a desired pH. So this is the pH of the solution that we're trying to, to prepare. Um, you're also going to be told what the strong base is. I have potassium hydroxide, KOH, as my strong base. And then also you're going to be given a volume of the solution. My solution is 900 milliliters. There's a lot of unnecessary information right here. Like this stuff right here, you can pretty much just completely ignore. All that really matters is what's the volume, what's the formula of the strong base, and what's your desired pH. The pH of the solution is not directly really useful to us. Um, what we really need to know is the pOH of the solution because we need to know the concentration of hydroxide ion that we need to make this solution. Um, so the pOH is going to be more useful, and I'm going to start right away by just doing that pOH calculation. As a reminder, pH plus pOH equals 14. So for me to get the, the pOH, I'm just going to go 14 minus the pH, which is is 14 minus 13.10, my pOH is 0.9. So we'll start by doing this um, pOH calculation. Then the next thing that I want to do is figure out from the pOH what exactly is the hydroxide ion concentration that I need to get this particular pOH. The hydroxide ion concentration is calculated by taking the anti-log of the pOH. So that means we're going to go 10 to the negative pOH, 10 to the negative 0.90. And it might be useful, it might be, uh, you know, just kind of helpful to you because this is sort of a weird format to look at. It might be easier on your eyes if you actually do that math on your calculator. You don't have to, but I I'm going to do that um, just to make things, like I said, just to make things a little bit easier to look at so that when I crunch that into my calculator, I get 0.12 five, nine. And that is the molarity of the OH minus solution that I need in order to get this pH. Now, if you're feeling a little bit unsure, like, is this, um, did I do the math right? You can just take the negative log of that number. And, and if you take the negative log of that number, you're going to get 0.9. So you know that you've done it correctly. So once we've got to this point, the problem kind of changes. Now the problem is asking us, or now we can think about the problem as if it's asking us, how much potassium hydroxide, KOH, do I need in order to make a solution that is 0.1259 molar hydroxide ion? 0.1259 molar means that we have 0.1259 moles of hydroxide ion for every liter of solution. We are not making a liter of solution, we're making 900 milliliters, which is the same as 0.9 liters. So we're not gonna need a whole entire 0.1259 moles. So we'll, um, we will just do a, a conversion here to figure out how many moles are actually necessary for the volume of our solution. We need 0.11331 moles of hydroxide. And uh, what we also need to think about is for KOH, I'm going to uh, like write this up here, for KOH, when we put KOH into water, it dissociates into the K plus ion and the OH minus ion. Every one OH minus ion comes from one KOH ion. So every one, let me write this down here, every one OH minus ion came from one KOH molecule. It might not be necessary for you to do this step. You might be able to just do that one in your head. Clearly, it's not doing anything mathematically. So this converts us from moles of OH minus into moles of KOH. And then the last thing that we have to do is just figure out how many grams that is. There are 56 grams of KOH for every mole. You should definitely not round your molecular weights like I do. It gets me into a lot of trouble on Alex. Uh, figure out what the exact molecular weight is for KOH. And my answer is going to be 6 three, let's see, Alex wants two significant figures. So 6.3 grams.